What's up, YouTube? It's Triple C Memorabilia back with another video. Uh, I've got some really cool items to show off today. I got I recently won a Raz on a Facebook group, and I got some big stuff in this. I'm pumped to show it to you guys. Um, in the back, I've got two cards. It's kind of kind of showing what all I've got. It, it, I put a vintage card back here, and I put a newer card. Um, these items I'm going to show you. There's a little bit of vintage and a little bit of newer stuff. So I've got this Bill Verdon card. I believe this is a 1956 Tops. I think is what it is. Centering's really bad, but he signed that for me. TTM, and he inscribed NL Rookie of the Year in 55. So that's a cool one. It's one of those jumbo cards. That's why I've got it in one of these uh, these top loaders. Also, I've got this card right here. It's uh, this was actually a stadium giveaway at one, at my first game at the new stadium. My first game at Bush Three, and they gave these out. And they've got the inaugural season logo on them. These were given out the year they won the World Series, and uh, so this was signed by Jeff Supon. Then he inscribed 06 World Series champs. I've been working on trying to get some of these signed by some of the guys that were on this team everybody in that set I've been trying to get signed I've got I've got a decent stack of course I'm missing like poo holes and people like that but uh I hopefully will be able to put that together one of these days um got a kind of a random pickup I picked up a Topps archive signature series I think this was from this was from 2018 is where it was from and it's a 2016 Bowman card it's Stephen Piscotty's rookie card, and it's autographed and numbered to 72, right up there. Uh, this was really cheap, and Piscotty was one of my favorite players whenever he was a Cardinal, and he just recently made his return back to St. Louis with the A's. And so I decided this was really cheap, so I decided to pick it up, being that Piscotty was one of my favorite players. All right, here's the thing I really wanted to show you guys. I entered a Raz. I spent $35. That was to get a spot in. If you not don't know what Razzes are, they're basically a raffle. And uh, so I spent about $35 in spots. I'm going to show off. I'll do this. It was five baseballs and a Beckett graded card. So some pretty cool stuff. One baseball is definitely a lot better than the others, but this was one of the ones that I got. It's a Shelby Miller baseball. It's uh, Rawlings official major league, and it's actually MLB certified. Sign on the sweet spot in blue right there. So Shelby Miller, obviously no longer a Cardinal, but cool to have that one. Um, I'll show this one next. Um, this one is of Aaron Miles. He inscribed it 2006 World Series champs. He also inscribed it's hard to see, uh, 364 postseason. That would be his batting average. 281 lifetime batting average, and a 360 lifetime ERA. He was their emergency pitcher whenever they needed a whenever they needed a pitch a pitcher to come in late in the game. Aaron Miles was the guy they called. So that's a nice one. Also got this baseball. It's of Bobby Shantz. He inscribed at 1952 AL MVP. This actually came from one of those uh, TriStar Hidden Treasure boxes. They sell those uh, boxes with all those random autographed baseballs. That's what this one came from. So that's a nice one. These all came in the same group, too. So, yeah, the, all the winnings were these five balls. And I'll go ahead and show the card off. It's a 1968 Topps Roger Maris. It's a graded 9, so that's a very nice card. It's the Beckett BCCG grading, the Beckett grading on that one, so that's a nice one. I usually do PSA, but I'm not going to, I just entered this Raz, and of course I'll never pass up a 68 Topps graded a 9. That's an awesome card. Um, got this, this baseball, it's of Ted Simmons. You may know him with his time, I believe, with the Brewers and the Cardinals. Obviously, he's in the he's inscribed Cards Hall of Fame 2015. Up on the top, he inscribed 1980 Silver Slugger. And then down here on the bottom, kind of hard to see, but it's the eight-time All-Star. 
a guy that I believe should be in the Hall of Fame, and many Cardinal fans believe it, and many guys who watched him play believe it. He is a very underrated player. All right, and this is the reason I entered the Raz in the first place. I wanted to get this ball, and luckily I was able to win. And uh, all right, so here it is. This is first off, it's um, authenticated by Beckett. It's by Beckett on a Silig ball, and it is of Albert Pujols. Very nice ball here. It uh, I'm gonna take it out of the case really quick. The ball has some spotting on it, but I mean, you don't get to see very many blue um, Sweet Spot Pujols autographs like this, so that's an awesome addition to the collection. I've been wanting to add something from Pujols for a long time, but I mean, I have a hard time, you know, paying three to four hundred dollars for it, but uh, definitely. I don't mind spending $30 in a Raz and picking up this one, plus all those others. So, I mean, that's such a good deal. Yeah, so I'm pumped to have this Albert Pujols ball. So let me know what you think of all this stuff in the in the comments. I've uh, Please like and subscribe to the video. And we will catch you guys next time.